Behold, God dwelling with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people. And God himself with them will be their God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the kingdom of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today we celebrate the feast of the dedication of the Basilica of St. John Lateran in Rome. Um, uh, it's one of the four great basilicas of the city of Rome. Um, and it's the, uh, the first among the four. It's uh, uh, the Cathedral Church of Rome. Um, to surprise a lot of people, most people think it's, that St. Peter's is the Cathedral of Rome, but it isn't. Uh, St. Peter's, although it is the largest church in all of Christendom, is a papal chapel. Um, the, the Basilica of St. John Lateran is the cathedral, and that's where the, the Pope's throne resides. That's uh, uh, the, the seat of, uh, of it. And uh, uh, so uh, as we celebrate the, the feast of the cathedral, we remember also the Bishop of Rome. So we will pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis as well. And as we begin our celebration, we prepare ourselves to meet our God in word and sacrament by taking a moment of quiet reflection, looking for those moments of grace in our daily lives and giving God thanksgiving, seeking God's forgiveness for our own sins. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and Amen. on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who are pleased to call your church the bride, grant that the people who serve your name may revere you, love you, and follow you, and be led by you to attain your promises in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Be seated, listen to the word of God. reading from the book of the prophet of the people. The angel, the angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple. I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. And the spot of the temple was toward the east. Water flowed down from the inner side of the temple south of the altar. He led me outside by the northern gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, since water flows into the eastern district, down upon the rabbi and enters into the sea, the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live. And there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. The leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall be they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. The fruit shall serve for food and their leaves for medicine. Word of the Lord. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The warm waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength, and ever present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken. And mountains plunge in the depths of the sea. The water leaves of the river climb, the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. 
There is a stream who is run by the divine in the city of God, the holy dwelling of the most high. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it and break down the dust. The waters of the river are in the city of God, the holy dwelling of the most high. The Lord of hosts is with us, our stronghold in God, Jacob. Come, we hold the deeds of the Lord. He has done things he has brought on the earth. The waters of the river of God, the city of God, the holy dwelling of the most high. The reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation. And another building is upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it. For no one can lay a foundation other than the other that is in Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I have chosen and consecrated this house as the Lord, my name may be there forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hold reading from the Holy Gospel before you can Glory Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold ox and sheep and doves. As well as the money changes. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and oxen, and spilled the coins of the money changes and overturned their tables. And for those who sold doves, he said, Take these out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the word description. Zeal for your house will be sold. And this the Jews answered and said to him, Let what sign can you show us for doing? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking about the temple that he finds. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered. He just said it. And they came to believe the scripture and the word of Jesus was spoken. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate the feast of the dedication of the Silver of St. John in the Cathedral of Rome. Um, uh, he has three patrons. Um, first, the Holy Jesus, the patron saint of, of the cathedral. But it has uh, its name in honor of St. John. So he has to make a choice uh, and claim the, the two primary Johns as patrons both John the Baptist, the cousin of Jesus, and John the Evangelist, the beloved disciple. They both for the same gospel. So, so them are. Um, we have uh, stories of temples in our reading today, but none of them have anything to do uh, uh, in a real sense with uh, uh, the silk of St. John Lamb. So it didn't exist when these things were, were written. Um, in fact, the, the two temples that are described, the most of them were destroyed. First, the Solomon's Temple. Um, um, it was destroyed when the Babylonians carried, invaded Israel, carried off the, the Israelites back to Babylon, and left it in ruins. So, uh, the very reason times for this is that the temple was rebuilt, it King Herod um, uh, sought to rebuild that temple. Uh, and the construction was concluded uh, in which it's taken place for 46 years at that point. It would last uh, another couple of decades. Uh, in year 70, the Romans leveled it. 
brings what brought life. That's what, what they bring about. It's not the God is there, but the God's holiness comes from his dwelling and it goes out and refreshes the earth. Uh, you see that the sky here, fruit trees grow along the, the stream, the water coming from it. They're bearing fruit every month, this new crowd, new life comes and coming. So, St. John uh, has the Holy Father uh, using this as his primary church. Um, what's going on there? The sacraments and the Word of God. And the thieves come out through those doors and they bring life to the world. And that's what we celebrate. We celebrate the Holy Spirit. It's God dwelling among us. Uh, in the churches, bringing the word out, but as St. Paul says in our second reading, in ourselves, that wherever God dwells in the suffering, God dwells in us, especially in the Holy Communion. Um, we become this kind of become uh, actually Christ. Uh, we become a place in which God dwells in that message should come to the world. Gather our prayers and bring them before our God. On this feast of the, the dedication of the Basilica, let us pray for our Holy Father and his works. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for our nation and ask that God watch over and bless it. We pray to the Lord. Lord pray for our, our school here that continues the ministry of Catholic education. Ministry begun by Jesus and the Holy Family. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for um, uh, the deceased uh, of our families and friends. We pray in a very special way. Remember Crystal Beeman, the, the wife of uh, Bob, who was a long time, uh, a long time janitor here, just retired uh, last year. But she passed away from COVID. This uh, just a couple of days ago. And so for her, for the repose of Crystal and for Bob's healing as he himself is, uh, is suffering from uh, the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. This month of November, we remember everyone uh, whose names are inscribed in our, our book of the faithful departed, that God may welcome all of them to paradise. We pray to the Lord. Pray for the sick in our community. Remember in a very special way uh, Mr. and Mrs. Buell and, uh, uh, and all of those in need of God's healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Your intention. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we come before you, bringing you our hopes and desires. We offer them now to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. This is the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, will we come to us, the bread of life. Blessed and blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our sins Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive it in this place. 
the power of the sacraments, the answer to their prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent of the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, or shadowed invisible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, those are in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Give with Francis, our Pope, Bishop Walter, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember Crystal and all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Francis, St. Clair, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life. And they praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, let's raise our voices in the prayer given to the church by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope. In the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Offer each other a greeting of God's peace. Lamb of God, take away. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold it, it takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called with the supper of the Lamb. Lord, May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Be built like living stones into a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant we pray that by our partaking of the sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen. Thank all of you.